<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we come together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves <clears throat> to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I've done and what I've failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you still a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If, you, if I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, love is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we now partially, and we prophesy partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly, as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, and love remain, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord on a harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, 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 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The gospel. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. I realized yesterday I didn't introduce myself if you hadn't been at the massive transition, but my name is Father Tom Lynch, and I'm the new pastor here. Uh, and I ask for your uh, patience as I kind of learn the ropes, and, and, and I thank you for uh, the, the really warm welcome, and it's just wonderful to be here. Today is the feast day of St. Cornelius and Cyprian, and these are two saints that uh, really uh, admired each other. That's why they're linked together. Uh, Cornelius was Pope, and Cyprian was the Bishop of Carthage in Africa, and they lived middle of the third century. And in fact, uh, they would extend to each other these, these warm letters, and they would really rejoice in the unity of the church. In fact, St. Cyprian wrote a beautiful treatise uh, on the unity of the church, and you know, what makes the church one, and it's, and it's this love factor that just unites us and keeps us together. And I just find it kind of interesting because when Cornelius is martyred, Cyprian goes underground and then comes back up during a great persecution of the church at the time, a new pope is elected named Stephen, and Stephen and Cyprian didn't get along at all. <laughs> in fact, they kind of like accused each other of messing up the unity of the church. And it, we get a little bit of that uh, sentiment in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. You know, th these words I'm sure you heard at weddings and uh, on different occasions, special occasions, the, you know, love is kind, love is patient. But the context here is that Paul is really annoyed with the Corinthians. You know, he, he helped to found that church there, that church community, and they started hearing that they were arguing with each other, they were accusing each other, they were defaming each other, they were hating each other. And so he writes this letter, which we take for granted because it's so beautiful, we just love the, the sentiments of it. We think they're like, Hallmark card greetings, you know, love is this, love is con no, is never rude, you know. But what he's really saying is stop being rude, you know, stop being selfish, stop being jealous, stop being pompous, you know, stop se searching your own interests, stop rejoicing over the wrongdoing of others. And what is he saying? He's saying what Cyprian and, and Cornelius were saying, that we got to love one another, uh, and we really have to build up that love. That love is the remedy for everything. So let us pray, my friends. We turn to God our Father, offer our prayers a petition. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop here, Cardinal Dolan, for all who bear the burden of authority in the church, that they serve us and help us to grow in holiness, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, especially those impacted by the virus and those that help them, we pray to the Lord. For unity in the church, unity in our government, unity in our world, unity in our lives and our families, we pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, for those who die today, that they may rejoice in heaven, we pray to the Lord. And for any of your own special intentions, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, you hear the prayers of the family you gather before you. Grant that what we ask for in faith you give to us in love, for we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. The sacrifice we offer humble contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian. And may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us, too, steadfast in all trials, through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Cornelius and Cyprian, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, we pray. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Mind and body and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. Enter under my roof, but only say the word. My soul shall be healed. For those at home, the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.